I really feel strongly about Rick Saccone, and I know him. I feel strongly about him. He's an incredible guy. Connor Lamb, Lamb the Sham, right? Lamb the Sham. He's trying to act like a Republican, so he gets, he won't give me one vote. Look, I don't know him. Looks like a nice guy. There's no way he's voting for us ever. Rick is going to vote for us all the time. All the time. That was last night. President Trump rallying for GOP candidate Rick Saccone in western Pennsylvania, outside of Pittsburgh, ahead of Tuesday's closely contested House election. Joining us now, ahead of his very busy week, that GOP candidate, Rick Saccone. Welcome. Thank you very much for having me on this morning. So last night, um, your, the, the president came to rally on your behalf. Do you think oh. that it is going to make a difference to convince a lot of these union members who are, have pledged support for your opponent? I hope so, especially with the union workers, because I've always uh, been pro-jobs, and, and union workers have voted for me, the rank-and-file members, over my last four elections. It's the union leadership that's, uh, that's always been against me. But I think the rank-and-file knows that, that I've always supported them. I've always supported the steel industry so he's a good and, uh, I don't know that. and bringing jobs back to Pennsylvania. So they know that. Mr. Saccone, uh, obviously we played some of these clips already. We're going to be doing it throughout the morning. He's sort of in his element, going for over an hour. <laughs> I don't know if you've ever seen him in this setting, but there's one one thing to see it on TV, it's another thing to be in the room. Take us inside there and, and what was happening. Yeah, I've been to uh, uh, President Trump's rallies before. I, I can only tell you that it's electric. You, maybe you can't see that on television, but there's electricity going through there. He's such a great speaker. He's such a powerful person that commands the audience. Uh, it's just wonderful to be there. Everybody that's in there is just in awe. You don't realize how, how, how long the time is going. You just, uh, you just want to have fun and listen to the president. Uh, it's just a great time. That's why people, thousands of people keep showing up. How many, how many people... How many other presidents even could draw that many people in a midterm, mid mm -hmm. midway through, not even quite midway through his, uh, his term yet, could draw crowds of, we had to turn away thousands yesterday. Mm -hmm. Mr. Saccone, uh, you, you know, he's, he's, he loves to give nicknames. He's nicknamed your opponent <laughs> Lamb the Sham uh, because he's attempting to look like a Republican in a district that went overwhelmingly for, for President Trump. How do you differentiate yourself against a candidate who looks and talks oftentimes like a moderate or a Republican. Well, we just outed him on all the things that he's tried to do. Uh, he said he was pro-life in the beginning, but we outed him, and we know now he's pro-choice, and he's come out and said so. Uh, he tried to fake like he was for the Second Amendment, and we outed him, and now we know he's not for the Second Amendment. So we just go down each issue, and we find that, you know, he's the chameleon. He'll try to be whatever Connor the chameleon can be and, and try to uh, be, uh, you know, uh, more like me uh, to try to draw votes away from me. But it doesn't work when we, when we put the facts out there, and that's been very effective. Do you feel pressure uh, because if the Republicans lose this traditional Republican seat, uh, it's yeah. going to give a narrative to the national media that uh, the GOP is going to have a tough midterm, number one. And number two, there's a story in Politico yesterday saying that some national Republican leaders are saying you haven't been a good candidate. Are you frustrated that some in the Republican Party want to eat their own? You know, those are an unnamed sources to me. I don't put any credence in those types of things. If they want to, if they want to name the source, let them come forward. Let me, let me face that person. I haven't heard anybody say anything like that. From the president of the United States all the way down to the state party and the district chairs, everybody's been all in to support me. Speaker of the House, the Pennsylvania delegation, it's been tremendous support. So do you feel pressure, though, because if you lose this, it's going to be a big deal? I tell you, the most pressure I ever felt was last night getting in front of the, United, the whole United States <laughs> <All right. laughs> and giving two speeches. Actually, when the president called me up on the stage the second time, I thought, you know, yeah, maybe he'll call me up, he'll shake my hand, and you know, we'll raise our hands together. But when he said, "I'm going to give Rick a few words to say," I'm like, "Oh boy, there we go." <laughs> that was unplanned. <laughs> Everything's unplanned with him, huh? That's true. <laughs> yes. Well, uh, yes. Good luck, uh, Mr. Saccone. Appreciate your time this morning, and we'll all be watching on Tuesday on this big bellwether election. We appreciate it. Thank you. Take care. Thank you. Get out to vote on Tuesday. Don't forget. All right.